Hello and welcome to the TomCast. I'm Tom, president and dictator for life of 515comics.com. As I've been talking about the past couple weeks, uh, my main focus has been on getting work done on book two. So, last week I showed you guys the splash intro page that I'm probably not actually going to use in the book, but instead just uses some extra promotional material. Uh, I have not actually settled on a design for the splash intro page that I'm actually going to put into book two. Uh, I've got a lot of different ideas, but I think I'm just going to have to start drawing some of the elements out uh, for one of the other, one or other of the designs and decide what I like best. I, I just can't quite decide how I want to position everything, so uh, it's going to be good. Hopefully I'll have that by next week. Yeah, I've still got another week in January. <laughs> I had to check, I'm not sure. I did make a list of some of the things that I actually need to get written. Uh, let's see here. What's that? I need to update the thank you page. I need descriptions for all the sketchbook items. I actually did scan a ton of sketchbook pages just the other day. Uh, so they're about ready. I need to just start like ma making themed pages and, uh, and actually coming up with some descriptions for all the different sketches that I have. It's kind of cool because I was actually looking at volume one and realized that I only have a few pages of sketches because I actually put a lot of like previous works in there, you know, the earlier iterations of the Next Two style comic. Um, so there weren't actually a whole lot of sketches in there, uh, but there I, I did manage to find quite a few sketches for this volume. So that's kind of cool that there will be some unique sketches in there. Um, need descriptions of those. Descriptions for all the guest art pieces. Uh, descriptions and introductions for the sub-chapters. Uh, a new dedication. Um, and uh, some other various little things. Although I did get one thing written. So apart from figuring out what all I had to write, I did actually write something. Hooray for me. So uh, I thought I'd share that with you guys. So uh, in volume one, uh, there's the little stinger text on the back. And I think I mentioned that that's something that I really needed to do because I realized, oh man, I've got the cover, but I don't have this, this stinger text. I don't know if that's what it's called, <laughs> but that's what I'm going to call it, okay? Because... It's more like hook text, really, because the whole idea is for it to, like, grab the reader and be like, you want to read this? So, anyway, I'm going to read you the first books, and then I'll read you the second books. <clears throat> the Ocean Shard. With it, you could give energy to an entire city or raise it to the ground, so the legends on the planet of Nextus go. Though many have tried to find the shard and failed, a new group of adventurers takes up the challenge. Many obstacles will stand in the way of their goal. The mysterious psychic ways, the powerful and dangerous Nyx organization, and their own doubts about the very existence of the prize they seek. Dot, dot, dot. So, <laughs> so that was the first book. So I, I feel like that was pretty good. You know, we didn't talk too much about specific people because you haven't read anything yet. Maybe. Uh, so, you know, yeah, I thought that was pretty good. So I kind of wanted to go for the same feel, but for people that have read the first book, um, you know, so that they're like, oh, okay, there's characters I recognize. So here's here's the actual, here's the hook stinger thing for the second book. So it starts out the same. The Ocean Shard. With it, you could give energy to an entire city or raise it to the ground so the legends on the planet of Nextus go. See, it's the same one. <clears throat> the once famed treasure hunter Randall Lockheed has begun his journey to seek out this legendary artifact. The road ahead is difficult and perilous. Will Lockheed and his crew, both new and old, be able to obtain the Ocean Shard, or is fate working against them? Meanwhile, brutal members of the Nyx organization continue to search for John Smith. As secrets of this young man's past come to light, it seems as though pieces in a game are being moved into place. Dot, dot, dot. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's kind of exciting, you know. I, I'm just like, oh, I want to read that book. So anyway, um... In other book news, uh, I actually have, I'll, you know, I'll step over so that I can show you maybe. Um, I have actually uh, gotten a lot of the book laid out. Uh, so all of the actual comic pages are now in order laid out the way that they need to be with their chapter breaks and the, you know, like the, the chapter covers between each chapter, which is something I'm doing different in book two. Um, so... That the bulk of the book is actually laid out now and ready to go. It's just a matter of actually generating the rest of the pages and putting them in their place. Um, I do have some of the uh, sub chapters ready and some of the guest art ready, but I kind of want to wait until I actually have 
all of them ready uh, to until I actually put them in the book because I don't know how many pages it'll be exactly. And there's still some work to be done. But we've come a really long way, and I'm really happy. I'm very excited about how things are shaping up, and I think it'll be no problem to get a proof copy of this uh, in February. So that's pretty exciting. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, I, that's all, I, I'm just, I'm in a good mood, so, bye!